Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the IMDb studio here. It's Sundance uh, 2017, and I'm gonna get to talk right now to the filmmaker and the cast, the director and the cast of a movie called The Hero. Give it up for him right now. Yeah. Brett, you scored a killer cast here, so you must have the goods. Tell us what the movie's about for those at home who are unfamiliar. Uh, the film is about uh, a character that Sam Elliott plays named Lee Hayden, who's sort of like I describe him as a, a sadder, lonelier, less successful kind of version of himself. He's a, a guy known for this one film called The Hero, which was a big Western, but he kind of never could match that. So he's a bit of a, uh, a kind of a washed up uh, Western actor. Mm. And um, he, he sits around and smokes pot all day and he does uh, voiceover uh, commercials for barbecue sauce. This guy's and, my hero. I know, he's... <laughs> things Why are going, is he washed up? He's at the top of the mountain. <laughs> I know, right? It's, it sounds like a good he's, life. He's made it, he yeah. drops the mic. He does, and uh, he basically gets some bad news and things kind of change in his life and he's forced to kind of look at his legacy. And I think for me it was an interesting, and for my co-writer Mark Bash, it was an interesting vehicle for Sam, that's really where this came from. Now you're a second timer here. This is your veteran at this point. When were you here before? I was here two years ago with a film called I'll See You in My Dreams. Um, and he was also in that Yeah, picture, it was correct? Blythe Danner and Sam Elliott, Martin Starr. Um, so a is lot that of... where this starts to germinate? Did you start planting seeds on purpose or did he just have an idea? You know, it's uh, Dreams was a gift and here's another one, you know. I haven't ever had anybody write something with me in mind. So. Is that right? You know. Oh my God, how, that's how not sweet to is this, that? Not to this degree, anyway. The Coens did write The Stranger for you, though. Did they not, pretty much? Yeah, my name was in the script. So yeah, I guess so there you go. So you just lied to us right there? Already, man. I, I'm already bested. <laughs> Sorry, Sam, I didn't mean to call you out. But, you know, I will say the idea of putting a movie on Sam's shoulders, 90 minutes of him, and sort of letting him do something we all know him as the stranger. We all know him from you know the films that he's done and the kind of you know, the Western vibe that he has, and and I think he's very thankful for. But we wanted to give him an opportunity to play something really honest and close to home and nuanced, and and um, I think he's absolutely brilliant in the film. So, Catherine, where do you fit into this? What do you play in the flick? I, I came attached to Sam, and and Brett threw me in. As a as a kind gesture of some sort, because well, uh, it's not like you've uh, ever worked before. <laughs> I'm not going to say it was a kind gesture, but it was a uh, it was a lovely gesture. I mean, I wrote that part for Catherine. Uh, I became close with Catherine while becoming close with Sam, and uh, obviously Catherine is an icon in her own right. But I think you know it was it was really fun to cast um, Sam and Catherine opposite each other. Uh, they play ex-husband and wife in this film, and they're married in real life, happily married, and. And I think it was fun to play, you know, as a director, you want to get this natural sort of chemistry going between actors, and it's palpable. Without, with no words, just close-ups, you, you feel ev their history. And that's, that's something you can't, you know, two strangers who you cast, that, that's not going to happen with them. Mm -hmm. Right on. Laura, yes. what's it like working with these icons in this picture? What are you doing, and what's it like working with them? It was incredible, honestly. I love the role of Charlotte, and this is a different kind of relationship in this movie that that's not normally depicted, and I think it's a really special relationship. You know, the opportunity to work opposite Sam in all of my scenes in the movie was one of the biggest draws for me. Now we got a panel here full of really impressive male facial hair, but hands down, <laughs> the guy on the end owns the beard that owns the day. Sir, you play a weed dealer in this movie? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to research that at all? Or? I, uh, I've done some homework. Uh... <laughs> Method. And, and and I thank you for complimenting my facial hair, but uh, I have to give props to my mustache coach. Yes. <laughs> um, how was this flick for you, man? What's it like working with these cats? Uh, well, I, I became pals with Sam working on Parks and Recreation, and uh, <laughs> he I really have looked up to him for a long time, and so what an incredible treat that we were, were able to become friends, and uh, it turns out he's a ridiculous sweetheart. And, uh, and Brett kind of took a shine to that notion, so he brought me in to, to play Sam's buddy in this. And, you know, it just, uh, it's so, it's such a generous part of life when, um, when, when you get to engage in something, such a, a loving form of working that, it feels like uh, what you would choose to do in your spare time. Mm -hmm.